Hi boys and girls. Today, we will identify beginning sounds. So, I'm going to say two words. If they sound the same in the beginning, I want you to touch your nose. If they do not sound the same in the beginning, I want you to leave your hands in your lap. Okay? So we'll do the first one together. Listen to the beginning sound. If they sound the same, touch your nose. If they do not sound the same, put your hands in your lap. Milk, ma. That's right. They have the same beginning sound. Fox, lamb. Right, keep your hands in your lap. They do not sound the same. Sun, fish. That's right, keep your hands in your lap. They do not sound the same in the beginning. Donut, dog. Yep, you're right, they have the same beginning sound. Flower, flip. That's right, they have the same beginning sound. And our last one, Jump, fox. That's right, keep your hands in your lap. They do not sound the same. So boys and girls, when you're identifying the beginning sound in a word, you need to think about all the sounds you hear and then listen to just the first sound you hear. So if Mrs. Bucky has a picture of a sun, I'm gonna use my fingers to tap out all the sounds that I hear in the word sun. And then I'm gonna focus just on the beginning sound that I hear. So I want you to get your fingers out and you can do it with me, okay? So for sun, I hear s, a, n. What was that beginning sound that I heard in sun? S, s that's right. Sun starts with S. Let's try another one. This is a picture of a what? Fish, that's correct. Get your tappers out. And we're going to tap out the sounds that we hear in fish. And then we're gonna think about the beginning sound that we heard. Okay, ready? Fish. F, I, sh. What was that beginning sound we heard in fish? F, F, F. F, you're right. Okay, let's try it together. Mrs. Bucky has some pictures on her board. We are going to match the beginning sound to each picture. But first, we're gonna read the pictures. Okay, you read them with me. I'll read it, and then you read it. Kite. Goat. Balloon. Minion. So we are gonna match the beginning letter sound that we hear to the picture. So let's go back to kite. Sound do you hear in the beginning? K, k, kite. K, k, kite. Do we hear a G, g, g sound? M, m, K, k, k or B, b here in kite. Hmm. You are right. Kite starts with K. Let's try the next one. This is a picture of a goat. Hmm. What's that beginning sound we hear? G, 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 goat. Hmm. Is it a G, M, or B? You point. You're right. G, g, g. Goat. Let's try the next one. B, b, balloon. B, b. What's that first sound we hear? B, b, balloon. That's right, it's a B. And our last picture is a minion. What's that first sound we hear in minion? Minion. That's right, it's an M. Great job, boys and girls. So, this is what I want you to do. I would like you to find five things around your house. Maybe you could get your pillow. Maybe you could get um, a pencil. Maybe you could get one of your favorite toys. Why don't you collect five things around your house? 
And then I want you to tell your grown-up, or maybe your sibling, the beginning sound of each of those five things that you found around your house. All right. It's important to identify beginning sounds, boys and girls, because it helps us to read and write.